All right, Pete, so what I'm going to do now is go on through pretty much um, set up, spray, um, what tips are the best for the application. And now we're going to wash up. So there's a couple of ways you can wash up, obviously, with everything. This time, we haven't really got a hose or anything. A lot of the time, if there's a hose, I'll wipe it out, take out my cup, hose out my cup, and then hose out my inside, and then I'll put my cup back on and sort of pour the water in, and I'll just repeat the cycle of spraying out the water until, yeah, we, we run it clean, yo. But on this occasion, we're gonna do it a bit different. We're gonna wipe it all out, take out the pot. It's always good to have a clean bucket of water. So I'll take out my cup, give my cup a bit of a wash, give my lid a bit of a wash, I'll put it back in and then I'll just use my little cup of water here and I'll just do the exact same process. So the only difference is hosing the cup out or um, washing it in a bucket, essentially. So that's the way we're gonna do it. I'm gonna go get a brush and I'll be back. All right, so I usually just, yeah, just wipe out whatever paint in in there but then too you can either wipe it all the way out or you can just shoot it back out until it sucks out into the bucket whatever you prefer but still you just want to wipe out any excess that's in there anyways and then what I'll do unclean take it out then I usually just put it straight in the water. And you just give it a little bit of a clean. Take out your filter. Give that a bit of a wash as well. What you always want to do, you always want to put your filter back in while you're flushing out, flushing out as well, because you still can get any bits of debris or whatever else in the bottom of your pot where your water is or anything like that. So it just makes it easier. And just throw it in your fresh drum. I always have a couple of drums as well of fresh water. Don't have to, have to fill them up. Don't want to use more water than what you have to. Because you know, there's peeps out there that don't even have drinking water and you don't want to go wasting it. There we go. You can just sit that there. Okay. Even even what the remainder in there, but well, you're still gonna still get a little bit out. So just give it a wipe out. Right. Now what you do? I'll get rid of this. So we can actually see what we're doing here. Now we've got this here. Click it back in. And it's got a little, my little pot here. But at the same time, I want to practice what I preach. Get your filter. Pop that back in. You know, like that. What you do. You just fill it up. And that's just pretty much repeat the cycle over and over again. So at the moment we've got it on spray. Take out your tip. You can take out, you can take out even your guard. Give that a bit of a rinse. blow out back into the remaining of your paint, back into the thing. You, you're only gonna probably get, you know, 200 mil or something that's in your lead. It's not like these hold much. With a 15 mil lead, I've worked out, you're probably looking at about 0.8 of a litre. Um, so yeah, it's a bit different with this. You only got about 200 mil. So it's straight into, as soon as it starts blowing water through, you know, you're right to go. So now what you want to do, you want to flip it straight over 
into your first pot that you've been, or your first drum of water that's dirty. We just want to shoot it through. All right, and then what I always like to do as well, flick it up to your prime, and you still do the exact same thing, but you'll see in what's going on in here, you'll start, it'll start priming out. There you start getting any of the excess paint starting to push itself out as it's priming as well. So it's sort of doing a couple of things, it's sucking through when you're spraying, uh, for, on spray obviously, but when you prime it's still sucking through but it's popping out any of the dirty access paint also. So pretty much just do the exact same thing. So I'll just scoop some more clean water out of here, pour it in. That way you, you don't have to keep switching between prime and everything like that all the time. It just keep it sucking through. All right, now we'll flick it back to spray. And I'll just repeat the process. So what I'll do, put more water in. Flick it back to prime. And you can actually see, you can see inside here how it's still popping out. A bit of dirty paint water. Same thing, just switch it back the spray. And we'll do, just repeat the process until you get nice clean water coming out of your gun. So now as well, I'll just hit it to prime one more time. Shoot it back out. You pretty much know the internal mechanism or the pump, everything is starting to be really clean. When you flick it back to prime and you look in there and there's no dirty water popping back out, that's when you know you're pretty much ready to go. When it's, when it's completely white. So what I usually do now, we've got it to a point where it's pretty clean inside and out. Tip the access back in there. Take the pot and that out. And then that's when I usually just, this is why I think the hose works really good as well. Cause I, I, I can just hose inside this area um, and it gets right inside, cleans it all out as well. Just make sure that you, you know, it, it, it can be risky business as well using the hose if you're gonna get it inside any of um, the working parts or anything like that. So make sure no water gets inside the spray gun at the same time. But yeah, just always good to have a couple of rags with you as well. And I'll just flick, switch it over different rags. I find this, I find this, um, the quick shot a lot easier to clean than the, um, the handheld ultra or just the, yeah, the Graco handheld. So that's the way, what we've done now, it's pretty much clean inside here, but after I've wiped it all out, make sure you, you, your cup's completely clean. I'll just sit that back in here. I will do one more flush. So I'll go to spray. And you see it here, it is really clean. 
I'll flick him back up to Prime, get any leftover materials or whatever that's in, your, what's in the rest of the gun or your machine. You just suck it dry. And get it down to there. So now the inside of your machine's clean. The outside of it's clean. It's pumping out nice clean water. So now we can start. Just fill it up one more time. Now we can start cleaning out our tips. Because there's no point blowing your tips out if you're blowing them through paint still or dirty water. Get out your tip guard. Screw your tip guard back on. Don't tighten it all the way up because it just puts a lot of pressure on, on your tip when you're trying to, you don't want to force it in there. Just want to go in nice, tighten it up. Always do it by hand. Flick it over. Make sure she's on prime. Get out. Flick the switch it over. Nice clean tip now. Put that in your fresh drum of water. Unscrew your cap or your, your tip guard. You can either run the rest of your water out, or you can tip it back out. And then what we do now, we'll grab out what's supplied as well. You got your little, you got your little container, aka bottle um, of things. So even if you don't have your thing, you just get your get your tip. Just pop it, pop it through. Then fill up. You don't need too much. You can either pour it in there like that, or you just grab your pot, pour a bit of pump armor inside there as well. That. She's still on spray. Spray out your pump armor. You don't want to go sucking it completely dry just to a point where it's just completely taken it and then that's it. Remove your cup. It's all nice and clean whole way around. Just use whatever's left in there. Tip it out. Give it a wipe. Put it back in. If you like, you can leave it you don't have to put it back in, but yeah, usually I'll put it back in and then I usually put my tips, any of my used tips, I just put back in there, put on my cap. I'll get my tip guard as well. Put my tip guard, my tip inside. Screw it on, cover it up, cover it up, wrap it up, and then you can put it just straight back in, in the bag, zip it up, and you see you later, I'm out of here. Jacob, type in 